Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over all of the best money methods that you could be doing this week in GTA 5 Online to make yourself lots of money and also lots of RP. Now, in total, I'm going to show you guys around five different money methods all in this one video. And one of these money methods is going to be a completely brand new money method that we literally just got yesterday in the game. So if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if this is your first time coming across my YouTube channel, consider hitting that subscribe button so you never miss out on a future GTA 5 video from me. But now let's get straight into the first money method. So getting into the very first money method, literally anybody can do this and you can make a lot of money in RP from doing it. Now if you want to do this yourself, all you need to do is go ahead and open up your pause menu. Once you open up your pause menu, go to online, go to jobs, go down to play job, go down to rockstar created, go down to adversary modes and scroll all the way down until you see the slasher adversary mode. As you guys can see, this slasher adversary mode is going to be paying double money and double RP this entire week. So go ahead and start up any one of those slasher adversary modes and as far as settings go for the game mode, make sure you put team balancing set to on and first to win set to seven rounds that's literally all you need to do for the settings of this game mode as long as you guys have those settings you're going to be making the exact amount of money i'm going to be making in this game mode which is a lot of money anyway of course try to get as many people in the game mode as possible with you and once you guys do have everybody in the game with you go ahead and start it up so if you guys have never played this game mode let me quickly explain it to you guys because it's actually very simple there's going to be two different teams the slasher and then the hunted as you can see right now i'm on the slasher team and if you are the slasher you're only going to be by yourself if you are on the hunted you do do have lots of other teammates but let me explain how this game mode works before you guys get excited about having lots of teammates on the hunted team because the hunted team as you can tell has literally no type of weapons the only thing they have is a flashlight and a pair of fists but they need to try their best to hide from me and try to run away from me basically so i don't take them out with my shotgun if i end up taking all of the hunted out i end up winning the round but let's say the hunted end up surviving or i don't end up finding one of them they're eventually when the timer goes up at the bottom right hand of your screen when that actually ends it's going to give them shotguns and then they can come down and chase me with guns and if they actually take me out they end up winning the round as you can probably tell though it is easier for the slasher to win compared to the hunted but yeah anyway let's just go ahead and get straight into the pay of this game mode let me show you guys exactly how much money you get every time you win one of these rounds Alright, so here's exactly how much money you get once you end up winning a round as a slasher. As you can see, I just ended up winning the round. And here you can see, when you win a round, you get paid $8,500. And losing team gets paid only $4,900, just a little bit under 5 k And I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but at the end, it actually adds up. Take a look, here's how much money I got at the very end of the entire game mode. You can see $138,000, so that $8,000 definitely adds up. And you can see I got 8,600 RP, which actually isn't that bad for the amount of time that I spent in this game mode so if you guys ask me $138,000 and also 8,000 RP is pretty good for a money method that you need no requirements for make sure you do this this week all right, now getting into the second money method, once again, anybody can do this, but if I'm going to be honest, I only recommend this to certain people. You'll see what I mean here in a second. Anyway, if you want to do this money method, just open up your pause menu, go to online, go to jobs, go down to play job, go down to community jobs this time, and then just go down to where it says stunt races. And as you guys can see, they added a whole bunch of new stunt races to the community jobs. You can see all the new ones that they added are going to be double money and double RP. So go ahead and start up whichever one is double money and double RP for you. And once you guys start it up, as far as settings go, I recommend putting the race types to non-contact that way you don't have to worry about people crashing into you next come down to the number of laps and set it to the complete max amount but don't worry we're not going to be in this race for 99 laps because the next setting you want to do is come down to where it says destroy last place and set it to every 60 seconds when you guys have these exact settings you are now ready to start the race of course you're going to want to try your best to get as many people in the race with you i recommend getting at least over 10 people in the race with you if you can get over 10 people in the race with you trust me it's going to be well worth it when it comes to getting money in rp and like i was saying at the beginning of this money method it isn't recommended for every single person who is playing GTA 5 online. If I'm gonna be honest, I only recommend this to people who are good at doing races because with this money method, you're only gonna be getting good money if you come in either first, second, or third place. And there's nothing really much to actually doing this money method except coming in first, second, or third place because those positions pay the most amount of money when you actually end up completing the race. Anyway, let's just go ahead and cut straight to it and let me show you guys exactly how much money you get for completing any one of these double money and double RP community jobs series races. 
All right, so right now I'm actually coming up to the end of my race. And as you can see, I actually came in first place. And here's exactly how much money I got for getting first place. You can see I got paid a total of $64,000. And take a look at the RP. It's actually very good as well. 12,600 RP. Now take a look at how long I was in this race. I was only in here for eight minutes. Eight minutes got me $64,000 and 12,000 RP. If you guys ask me, this money method is super overpowered. But of course, only if you're good at doing races and if you come in first, second, or third place. All right, now getting into the third money method, this is going to be involving one of the brand new time trials that we got this week. If you guys do not know where the regular time trials located at this week, here's the exact location right here at the docks and the bottom right hand of your map. So once you guys come over here, you're now going to want to call out your fastest motorcycle that you do own. You can see right here, I got my Shitaro. Once you guys do get your fastest motorcycle, get on it and bring it on top of the time trial just like I'm doing here and just stay still. Now go ahead and click right D-pad, stay still, open up your pause menu though, go all the way over here to where the checkpoint is actually at and go ahead and mark it once you guys mark it now drop your pause menu open up your phone and then click in the middle right there where it says job list and then once you click job list go ahead and click x and then a to quit the time trial once you guys have quit it now line yourself up just like this and once you guys are lined up just like this and when you're ready go ahead and click right deep to actually start the time trial now literally this week's time trial is super simple it is kind of far but it is very easy to do literally all you need to do is follow the checkpoint exactly as it tells you on the map and make sure you're holding our all the way down and also your left joystick all the way up that way you're going the complete max speed on your motorcycle as long as you guys do those two things and you don't crash too much you should be able to beat it and here's how much money you get once you do end up beating this week's regular time trial you can see one hundred and four thousand dollars which if you guys ask me is pretty good for only four minutes now for the next money method, we're also going to be doing another one of the brand new time trials, but this time it's going to be the HSW time trial for this week. If you guys do not know where it's located at, it's located literally right next to the time trial that we just did over here at the docks or the like terminal area. Once you guys do come over here though, call out your fastest HSW vehicle this time. You can see I got my Hukusho drag bike HSW upgraded of course. Once you guys do have your HSW vehicle, go on top of it, click right D-pad, stay still and open up your pause menu. Now go all the way up here to where the checkpoint is actually located at. You can see it's right here just in front of the military base once you guys marked it drop your pause menu though and then open up your phone click in the middle where it says job list and then click x and then a to quit the time trial and yeah, whenever you guys are ready to actually start the HSW time trial, just go ahead and click right D-pad to actually start it. The only thing you need to do from here is literally follow the checkpoint all the way through exactly as it's telling you. Of course, make sure you're going as fast as you possibly can in whatever HSW vehicle that you are in. And make sure you try your best also not to crash because in these HSW time trials, it's usually very easy to crash. And if you crash a lot, you most likely aren't going to be able to beat it. So try your best not to crash and also go as fast as possible. Make sure you're also careful while going in between the mountains. Once you guys do end up beating the hsw time trial though and you didn't mess up in between those mountains here's exactly how much money you get paid you can see two hundred and fifty two thousand dollars which is very good for only four minutes of doing a simple hsw time trial make sure you guys actually complete it this week that way you can get your two hundred and fifty two thousand dollars as well but yeah, that is now going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys did go on to enjoy. If you guys did go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you guys do me a favor and drop a like on the video. It is completely free and it helps the YouTube channel out a lot by getting the video out there to people who don't even know about my YouTube channel yet. Of course, if this is your first time coming across my YouTube channel and you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 350,000 subscribers. But that's now going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys did go on to enjoy and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.